So here's a few examples of how to complete the square to solve for a variable here. Some steps to remember. We want to isolate the variable terms. Set the leading coefficient to 1 by dividing if it's not already 1. Complete the square by adding b over 2 squared. And then we factor and solve. So let's try those out. First thing we want to do is get this minus 3 out of there. So let's add 3 to both sides. x squared plus 6x. I'm going to leave some space there because i got to complete the square. Now what do we complete the square with? It's going to be half of this squared. So I'll come over here to the side. If we take 6 over 2 squared, that's 3 squared, which is 9. So let's add 9 to both sides. That is what we want to complete the square with. Now we can factor that. This is x plus 3 squared. And this is 19. Now we're ready to get rid of that exponent. So we can square both sides. And we get x plus 3 equals, we don't know the square root of 19, so it just is the square root of 19. But we need this to be plus or minus, because remember there's two numbers there. 4 point something is what the square root of 19 is worth. And finally, let's get the 3 out of there, subtract 3. We have this minus 3, but we actually like to put this in front just to keep it clean because that square root and plus or minus the square root of 19. This represents two answers. Again, uh, online you'll have to type two answers there. But All right, that's the idea. Negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 19. Two answers there. How about this one? Well, this one's already set up for us. That's kind of nice. There's no constant here, and it's uh, got a 1 in front of the x squared. The leading coefficient, we call that, is 1. So we ask ourselves, what do we need to put here? Well, we need half of this thing squared. So let's think about that. Take the 3, cut it in half, and then square that. That's going to be 9 fourths. So we're going to add 9 fourths. It's a little weird with the fraction. We're going to have to just practice our fractions here. This guy we want to factor. And so this is going to factor. We force this to be a perfect square trinomial. So it's going to be x plus. And what is it going to be plus? Well, this is just going to be half of this, or the square root of that. Square root of 9 fourths is 3 halves. Notice it's just this thing over here. And now let's add that. We're going to need a common denominator. This is 2 over 1, which this is the same as 8 fourths. Multiply top and bottom by 4, you get 8 fourths. 8 fourths plus 9 fourths gives us 17 fourths. And I forgot my little square there. There you have it. So let's square root both sides. We want to get rid of the exponent now. Time to square root. So when we square root, we get x plus 3 halves equals square root the top, square root of 17, square root the bottom, 2. And this will be plus or minus. There you have it. And it was nice that that denominator square rooted. That makes it nice. Now, these have a common denominator already. That's nice. And that will happen often, most of the time. And then we, so, so we're going to add these together. We could put this back here, but we're going we're gonna to add it. Let's just keep it away from that square root. Okay, common denominator is 2. And then we have a negative 3 plus square root of 17, and negative 3 minus the square root of 17. You can't do anything with it. You can't simplify it, so that's good enough. All right? So, all right, so next, this one has a 2 in front. We won't, we're going to want a 1 there, so we're going to have to divide that. But let's, let's get that 3 out of there first. So add 3, and we get 2x squared plus 8x equals 
10. Now we can divide everything by 2. And that gives us x squared plus 4x equals 5. Okay. Now, let me actually move that a bit there. Now we've got to complete the square. It, it, we have 1 in front. You don't want to complete the square until you have a 1 in front. So what we're going to add is we want a half of this squared. Well, 4 over 2 squared, that's 2 squared, which is 4. So we're going to add 4 to this side, add 4 to this side. Right side becomes 9. Left side becomes uh, something we can factor. Okay, in fact, this is just x plus 2 squared. Okay. Multiply these and double, you get 4. Square 2, you get 4. Now we're ready to square roots. And this does work out. That's plus or minus 3. And we have x plus 2. In this case, since it did simplify, we want to write two equations. x plus 2 equals positive 3. x plus 2 equals negative 3. Subtract 2 from both sides. x equals 1. Subtract 2 from both sides. x equals negative 5. There you have it. All right, so there's a few examples that work out in a few different ways. Sometimes we have a radical. Sometimes we have a radical over an uh, integer. And then sometimes we get a couple real values. So that's completing the square. I hope that helps.